and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is diameter of a binary tree which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one node root of a binary tree and what we have to do is basically we have to return the width of the binary tree diameter of the binary tree width of the binary tree and what is this it is basically the number of edges uh, on the longest path between two leaf nodes in the tree okay all right i think i understand it's a bit confusing we will understand this and this path may or may not pass through the root and we our task is to return the diameter of the tree okay all right so what we have to return look we have to return the longest path and we have to count the number of edges between them and return that okay all right so um look what is the longest path here the longest path here is this how many edges are there two we will simply return two okay all right moving on uh if we consider this binary tree how many what is the longest path here so the longest path here is something like this or this as well okay all right and in both the ways what is the num maximum number of edges maximum number of edges are four so we will simply return four okay all right but look if suppose there is a binary tree something like this and this so what will be the diameter of a binary tree now look uh, longest path one longest path is this one long path is this okay all right another path if you will read here it simply return key that this may or may not pass through the root so it is not necessary that our path passes through the root it is not necessary okay so uh, what we will say if we will find out key yeah, are this path has five edges this path has five edges so it means it is the longest uh, it is the diameter of our binary tree and we will simply return the number of edges which is five okay all right so how are we going to approach this is very very simple look i am currently at five okay all right what i will say ki yaar either either my maximum path my diameter my diameter will lie in the left subtree or it will lie in the right subtree or it will lie in the combination of both we have three choices and our answer will be between them either in the, uh, directly in the left subtree or in the right subtree or uh, like the path passing through the root something like this okay so these are the three uh, possibilities so let's understand them one by one okay all right let's quickly make a binary tree here and understand this okay something like this like i'm making some notes here 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and uh, let's say i make a note here as well and i make a note here as well okay all right so this is our binary tree and we are given the this root node okay root node all right now what are the possibilities either my answer can lie in this or my answer can lie in this because now i don't know i have to traverse then i can know okay or it will be passing through the root or it will be passing through the root there are all three possible chances okay all right so look what we are going to do is basically we are saying ki are either it can be present in the left subtree okay so what i will do um if we have to find out the node from where uh, there is a there is a maximum diameter so at every point what i will say ki are my children let's suppose this its name is l okay so i will say ki are l uh, i will say to l's children tell me your height tell me your height till l okay so what is the height till l basically number of edges which is 2 what is the number of edges in the right side it is also 2 so um, 
what will be the diameter of this what will be the diameter if we consider this l as the node so the diameter will be something like this which is equal to 4 okay all right so 4 can be one answer okay now what i will do i will send key yeah one node is this one node is this and one node is this so what i will return to this right uh, root node it i will return three key yeah from the left the longest path is three what is the longest path from here so the longest path here is two and uh, uh, now let's consider again the diameter diameter is basically sum of edges in the left and sum of edges in the right which is 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 okay 5 is the number of edges which is maximum at the moment and uh, what i will do now i will return its parent uh, the longest largest between the left and right which is 3 and 2 what is the maximum 3 3 plus 1 4 so in this way we are going to we are going to do two operations at every step if uh first of all okay look uh, let me delete all these things so first of all what i will do this is our binary tree first of all what i will do is um i will try to get the left height let's suppose call the same diameter function but this time for the left subtree okay and i have to take a global variable as maximum why because look in c plus plus we can pass uh, variables by reference so uh, they have, can be updated at any place and will be let's suppose updated at only one memory location we can pass them max max is equal to zero or answer is equal to zero its address i can pass and then it can be accessed access across the program but in java we cannot pass through object uh, reference reference value okay so that's why i am taking a global variable which is max is equal to zero okay all right first thing first first what i will do i will simply call this function again for the left side okay for the left side okay so currently i am here again uh, this will call the function for its left side which is here okay now again this will call the function for its left side which is null so at any point when i will get null i will simply return zero so from the left it got zero from the right also it got zero and uh, maximum answer can be what nothing because there are no edges here so my maximum is equal to zero but now what i will do i will take the maximum between the left and right which is both zero and i will add one to it so it means from here i got one okay from here i got one and from the right side what i will get from the right side i will get two why because here both are zero zero this is zero this is zero and uh, no uh, here both of the edges are zero okay so what i will do i will simply take the minimum maximum of them which is zero add one to it so here it is one okay all right now again one and uh, from the right side i'm getting one from the left side i'm getting zero maximum of them is one add one to it which is two so i got two here two from here one from here so what is the sum if i will let's suppose add one more node here uh, what is the maximum i will be updated two plus one three so which is greater than maximum so i have updated three two plus one basically comes from two is the number of edges on the right side and one is the number of edge on the left side two plus one three okay now what i will return to its parent what i will return to its parent very very simple i will take the maximum of left and right because we can only consider one path one direct path okay so one and two uh, maximum is 2 plus 1 3 so 3 is updated now uh, you will see let me quickly delete all these things once again so on updating the maximum what i will do is basically i have to consider the longest path so longest path either is this okay either is this till, till here root or it is this so which is the longest this one is the longest so i will consider that so on coming here on coming here what i will get is basically three nodes from the left and uh, one node from the right which is equal to four so four now maximum has become four okay all right maximum has become four and in this way if there was a more parent node i will take the maximum of three plus one add one to it 
uh, and return to its parent. So in this way, we are going to do two steps. First one, get the left and right diameter, okay, and update the maximum to left plus right plus one and current maximum. And what I have to return to its parent function basically the maximum of left and right and add one to it okay so these are the three four steps which we are going to do to solve this problem i hope it will be very very clear to you so now let's write the code of it but before that if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe because it will really motivate me and it basically i'm making videos at one o'clock in the night so i expect you guys to please subscribe the channel like the video comment down and i have made a very cool chrome extension for you as well with which you can watch the tutorials here only instead of moving to youtube and watching it there okay so the link is in the pinned comment make sure to check the extension out as well now let's quickly move on to the code section first one first first thing what i'm going to do take a global variable uh, with let's suppose answer and it's currently zero okay all right and if you are coding in c you don't need this answer global variable because you can pass the variables in uh let's say the reference of variables we can pass in c as long as i know okay so we can do that and uh, let's suppose calc is the function i'm passing the root here and i will receive it here with basically int and uh, calc and i will get the node root something like this okay so at any point if my root is equal to null uh, it means at any point if root is equal to null it means there is no node and i will simply return zero okay otherwise what i'm going to do calculate the left side so left is equal to again call this calc function but this time for the left root dot left okay uh, and again i will do the same thing but this time for the right root dot right okay and now what we have to do we have two things to do first of all update our answer so my new answer will be answer is equal to math dot max of answer comma left plus right plus one okay very very simple till this point uh, i will not do plus one here why because i am counting number of edges okay so number of edges in the left number of edges in the right and that's it okay and uh, after that what we have to do we have to return to its parent the maximum between left and right so simply do math dot max of left comma right and this time i will add one to it okay so that uh, all the current edges also considered because look till this point i am zero now i am returning this to let's suppose both are zeros left and right now i am returning this to its parent so i will consider one edge of this one edge of this that's why i am doing plus one and uh, yeah i think that's it guys that is it let me quickly write return zero oh, what i've missed uh, i will have to write return zero here so let's quickly try to compile this and i hope it will get accepted as well okay oh sorry i'm not returning answer here very very silly mistake return answer so basically i hope you have got this why we are returning here because only one path we will be considering so we have to consider the longest path and uh, yeah it's getting compiled let's try to submit this meanwhile please sit with pen and paper and try to visualize this uh, code question this solution it's a very very intuitive one so please check it out and subscribe the channel like the video comment down your feedbacks and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye